Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a quick video for anyone out there that has a problem with booting its computer. Uh, this is not a fixed video but more of a um, few tips that you should check for in case your computer doesn't boot up. So in Windows 8 um, it can show up in different ways. Uh, it can show up in a black screen like this, but it can also show up in a little blue screen that says, well, you got uh, troubleshoot, use another operating system, use a device to boot from, uh, continue exit, continue to Windows 8. So um, this screen can show up because of a lot of things and uh, I can't explain everything in one video of course but I'll actually just say the most common things that can make your computer stop booting up and that is common and a lot of people don't know it so if you get a no bootable device uh, insert boot disk or blue screen and says that it can't continue it can't boot the first thing you should try is of course shut down your computer completely. Uh, if it doesn't want to shut down, hold the power button for five seconds. Five consecutive seconds and your computer will shut down. And you know what? Wait a few minutes. If you have a laptop with a removable battery, uh, you know, unplug the laptop from the power supply, remove the battery and wait for five minutes. If you got a desktop, remove the power from, uh, you know, the power cable from the computer and wait five minutes also. And uh, then restart. Try to restart the computer. Is it working? Is it not? Uh, one thing that you should know is that if your computer stopped working and has a problem booting, it might come back to this blue screen. Uh, you know what? Just click continue and see if it boots up. If you have this black screen, well, press any key and see if maybe something's going on. So that's the first thing you should try. Second thing you should try and look for is anything plugged into your USB ports. I've seen many, many computers that are programmed that the first boot device is a USB drive. So when they plug in a USB key, they actually can't start their machine anymore because it says there's no bootable device because it tries to boot from the USB key which most of the time does not contain any operating system so it can't boot from it. So that's another thing to check for. Remove all the USB keys, all USB drives, uh, any external hard drive you have plugged in on USB. Remove all of that. Restart your computer. Does it boot up? There's a good chance it will because I've seen a lot of clients that actually called me up and said, well, you know what, computer doesn't boot up and I don't know what I did and uh, behold, USB key is on the computer's uh, USB ports. Another thing to check for, remove any memory cards from the memory drives. So for example, if you've got a memory card reader on your laptop, and it doesn't boot up, check if you've inserted a uh, maybe a memory card. Remove it. Maybe it's trying to boot off that memory card. You never know. Um, those of you using older system that just stumbled upon this video, one thing you could check for, of course, on very old systems, especially if you're uh, still in Windows XP or old operating system, make sure there's no uh, three and a half inch disks in those old disk drives it's a problem that's not really there anymore because it, for many years now we don't have any more um, disk drives on the computers but uh, that's something to check for make sure you have no uh, dr three and a half inch disk in the drive uh, now you've tried that you've removed the battery you've unplugged you have no USB key uh, you have no um, memory cards and it still doesn't want to boot up. Now there's several things that can happen. Uh, it could be that your hard drive is corrupt and you might need to plug it on 
another computer or boot with your Windows disk and try to do a check disk command to verify the hard drive and if there's are, there are any errors it will actually fix them and hopefully you'll be able to boot afterwards but you will need a bootable disk um, either a Windows 8 disk that you boot from you can use older drives uh, older disks if you have a Windows 7 disk for example you can use that disk and use the uh, recovery option and try a uh, disk a check disk CHKDSK uh, to check for errors on your drives you can also use programs like Spinrite or uh, any you know programs that can scan a drive and fix errors uh, that can be uh, of good use. Sometimes the drive's okay, it's just that the, the files are corrupt. If you have a no bootable device or a blue screen like this one, after your computer shut down unexpectedly right in the middle of a Windows session, for example, there's a very good chance that the problem is caused by a, um, the, the drive that's just uh, corrupt. Because if the computer was writing something while the drive, while the computer stopped, it might have uh, skewed all sorts of wrong data across your hard drive before it shut down. So um, you can, of course, try to scan your computer and uh, have a fix from your um, either a, an external disk that you boot from. Uh, like I said, there are programs. There's the check disk that's already there with you know most Windows disks. I uh, recommend later disks though, not a uh, Windows XP disk. But um, one other thing that can happen is that your internal BIOS in the computer, if for example, uh, for some reason it reset to its basic settings, maybe it's not set right, so it can't boot from your main device, which is your hard drive. So these are things that you can try. Um, another thing that you can look at is um, take a uh, Ubuntu Ubuntu disk. Um, if you go to uh, if you go into Google and just type Ubuntu, uh, you will see that there's a uh, site which is Ubuntu.com where you can actually uh, download a disk. So here you can of course go to the download section and click for example desktop and here you'll have 64 or 32-bit versions and just click download make a disk out of the download and what's gonna happen is that that download the disk is going to actually um, install um, without you know touching the drive you can just boot up from that Ubuntu disk and run uh, that Linux Ubuntu and with this, you can check if your hard drive is there. It will show you if your hard drive exists, if everything's there. If it doesn't see your hard drive, there's a chance that your hard drive might have crashed. Now, that's probably the last, last resort. And um, although it's not the first thing that usually happens, it is something to check for because hard drives do crash. And so even if your computer is just six months old, I've changed hard drives in computers that were only six months to a year old. So it, it can happen. But it's usually not frequent. So you don't usually have hard drive problems uh, most of the time. So uh, that's something to check for, but um, it's probably not the first culprit. So by downloading and booting from the Ubuntu disk, you'll be able to uh, check if your hard drive's there. You also can check if your computer's working fine. If you can boot from the Ubuntu disk, you're on your Ubuntu desktop, you can go on the web and do stuff, then your computer's probably okay. It's just that there's something you need to set up. So hopefully, uh, some of these tips helped you recover from a non-bootable computer. Um, if you've tried a lot of the stuff that I just told you and still doesn't boot, then you probably need to have uh, your computer checked out either with a friend that's very, you know, more tech than you are so that he can maybe check out if there's something 
going on with your computer or a tech guy that you can uh, call and have him go over and check your computer so uh, but you know check all of these little things first and uh, hopefully you've been able to reboot and uh, got your computer back but uh, don't forget to check for the USB drives and stuff like that that's probably the number one cause of a non bootable computer people plug in that hard drive and don't understand that the external hard drive is preventing the computer from booting up if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 or problem or something you'd like us to talk about let us know also we'll try to put that video online so thank you for watching and hope to see you again on the official Windows 8 channel bye bye